Hey guys, I just thought I'd today do something a little different, a little fun, and that is a unboxing. Again, I, I've only done this kind of once before, and it was with the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Blade Blaster, which was great. Uh, some of you guys really enjoyed the unboxing, and not that I want to make a habit of unboxing, but I thought I'd do it today for this guy. This is the 12th Doctor, or the new 12th Doctor Sonic. Uh, I've seen in the you know, previews. Hasn't really seen much on the screen to know how he uses it, um, but I had to get my get my own version of this for a couple reasons. One is Nick Roboto, the, uh, the person who actually made the Sonic for the series, and he's made pretty much them from you know, 10th Doctor onward, uh, actually supplied character options with this Sonic prototype. So pretty amazing. So it's gonna be pretty close. I look forward to seeing some comparisons with his version of his replica coming out. Still kind of tempted, but we'll see. Um, plus it's blue, and uh, I don't know if I've ever made a big point of it on my videos, but my favorite color is blue, so I have to go for it. But anyway, um, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. So far, looking at it, it's fairly accurate. Uh, if you've seen my previous video, which was the when it was first announced, talking about how, uh, you know, how it looked, what we thought of the design, uh, it's pretty accurate to that, so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, the box is cylindrical, which is pretty much what they've been lately. You know, some information about what the sonic screwdriver is, the blue and green light modes, uh, static flashing and chase light sound effects. That sounds pretty cool. Um, yeah, and then a bunch of warnings. Lots and lots of warnings and how to install the batteries. So, without further ado, maybe. Jeepers. There we go. I, do, I am a sucker for Sonic Screwdrivers. I'm a sucker for the designs. There's been, I mentioned in another video as well, in that same video, that there's a, so many different Sonics, and you know, I quite like the ones that light up the most. Got the top off finally. Slide it up. A little case there. Using my TARDIS console as a table. <laughs> Which I knew was going to happen at some point. A little instruction sheet. No, uh -oh. maybe, maybe, maybe it's not an instruction sheet. Please retain this information for future reference. The consumer has a significant role to play in reducing the impact of waste. So anyway, uh, <laughs> that's right. The companies that make all these packages are now blaming the consumer and putting it on us to put all the stuff in recycling and get rid of things responsibly. <laughs> The batteries are here, they're taped to the bottom of this. I don't know if this is standard or this is just the way that uh, they did this one, but oh, that's so annoying. But it's good tape. I wish I could figure out what tape they're using and get some for myself. Ah, I think I found the instructions. Oh, hey, this whole thing unrolls out and we do get the instructions on how to install everything. Very cool, and there's the functions. Cool, cool. All right. Now, the one thing I always find very um, almost ironic about the Sonic screwdriver is that with the toys, <laughs> you need a screwdriver to open it up just to get the batteries in. But here it is. Look at that. I'm pretty impressed. It's, it's about the same size as previous Sonics. Um, again, these are the toy versions. So here is the 11th Doctor. It's a little bit longer than that. Um, it's going to be longer than the, than the 10th Doctor version. Here is four. So it's pretty close, pretty close in size. Not that big, big a difference. Feels interesting hand. It was kind of hard to tell in the original uh, video how well this was gonna react in the hand. Not bad though. Yeah, pretty cool. I like the design. So anyway, uh, let's see, it says, how do you get into this thing? Twist it, twist, which is good. There's no actual like battery casing on this thing, which which is quite nice here. I'll do a nice little close up here. There's no battery casing, which is something that I think sometimes gets away from some of the, some of the toys, but it's honestly I've actually pretty been good for that. Let's get it. Twist. Oh, there we go. Twist, twist this way, ta-da! Very similar design <laughs> from the previous ones. I'll get your handy dandy screwdriver. Anyway, just taking it, pick it off. Two screws here. 
No, and it pops off. Here we go, two batteries in. Third one in, ta-da. And then you just gotta put the cap back on. And the good thing about these batteries is they do last quite a long time, so I very rarely have ever had to change sonic batteries. Okay, back to my two pieces. Make sure I put it in this the right way. Twist back on. Sonic is complete. So here we go. So apparently, Ford. <laughs> Ford twice. Nice. Cool. Back. Blue mode. And back twice. Oh, that's the one that we see when he first holds it. That's very cool. There you go. That is the new character option 12th Dr. Sonic Screwdriver. If you have any questions about it, just ask me down in the comments below. It's pretty sweet. Again, I'm gonna you know, hopefully have some close-ups here for you guys here in a second, but it looks really cool. Pretty happy with it. it. It doesn't fit as bad in the hand as I thought it would. Um, seeing the pictures of Peter Capaldi holding it and, and kind of trying to find his way to, to do it, I didn't know how it was gonna go. But I like it. I like the way, as in general, how the Sonic works. I like the fact that uh, it's got the Matt Smith green and the David Tennant and Eccleston blue. So I love that. I like it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Which one are you going to want to do? Um, I like that they got the blue body. I love the... Like, I, I, when you're looking at the, the previous Matt Smith version, you know, it's very steampunk looking. He's got the, the brass. Just the overall look for it. It looks kind of, you know, that way. But... When you look at them together, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I'm actually pretty happy with it. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting it if you if you want to get them. I'm going to have a link in the description. I'm in Canada, so I always support Pixel Barrel um, or BBC Shop. Both of them are a great place to get them. Uh, both well, well, well worth it. Um, yeah, it's this part's a little smaller than I expected. Uh, I like to see how, like I said, I like to see how it compares. But overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. You, you saw my video prior to this, which was about the design of it, and now we have one in the possession. Look forward to seeing Nick Robotos. Definitely look forward to seeing his. So anyway, thanks guys so much. If you want to check out and click over here to subscribe, I'm gonna have more Doctor Who videos coming up. I'm even gonna do up and coming. Uh, some Sonic videos, kind of go through the history of the Sonic Screwdriver, uh, talking about some of the toy collection versions and then the props themselves. So that should be fun. So be sure to subscribe if you want to keep abreast of that. For now, after this video, be sure to click through and check out some other videos Sonic related. Uh, it's pretty fun. Thank you so much for liking. Thank you so much for subscribing. But as always, thanks for watching.